So this is lesson 36 in Algebra 2, Contrived Problems, Multiplication of Rational Expressions and Division of Rational Expressions. A lot of big words for something that's fairly simple here. Okay, so this is the first example. Now if you remember, when you multiply fractions, um, you multiply the numerators and you multiply the denominators. Well, we don't want to do that unless we have to. So, first step that we always do in math, before we start multiplying or doing anything crazy, is we factor. We see if we can factor these things down first. So, let's look at uh, this one first. And we find that we can factor it down to x, x. Two numbers multiply together, give you negative 12. Added together, give you 1. It would be a plus 4 and a minus 3. So, we did that. Alright, let's look and see what we have on the bottom. We have, oh gosh, come on, right. X, two numbers multiplied together give you 20, added up give you negative 1. So that would be a minus 5 and a plus 4. And we're done with that one. Now let's do this top one right here. Multiply together, give you 35, so we've got plus 7 and minus 5, and that's done. And the bottom, added together, give you 9, multiply together, give you 14, so it's going to be a 7 and a 2. Okay, so once we factor, then we can multiply, but notice I have an x plus 4 there and an x plus 4 there. Cancel x minus 5, x minus 5, cancel. x plus 7, x plus 7, cancel that. What I've left with is x minus 3 over x plus 2. That is simplified and I can't do anything else. So I'm happy with that and I'm done. So the key thing about these problems is to factor cancel, and then multiply, if you can. In this one, we got rid of everything except one term in the numerator and one term in the denominator, so we couldn't multiply, so that was a good thing. Okay, so this one I have right here at the top of the page is the uh, second example. So that is example 36.2, and I just did not want to rewrite everything, so that's why I took a picture of it. Okay, so what we're doing here is, that's different than the last one, is notice we have a division sign. When you have a division sign, first thing you're going to do is you're going to take these and flip them over. So you're going to have your x squared minus 6x plus 8 over your x squared plus 3x minus 28 and we're going to put a time sign and then we're going to put the bottom number on top or bottom terms on top and the top one on the bottom okay and once you do that then you're going to take and break it into your factors and let's move this out of the way. Times. And you're going to decide um, how you can break this one down and put it again right there. And in this case, you're going to get what, x minus 2, x minus 4. And that's done. And the bottom one you're going to get uh, what x plus 7x minus 4. So you get a negative 28. And that one's done. The next one you're going to get x plus 7x minus 5. And that's done. And the bottom one you're going to get x minus 5x plus 3. And that one's done. 
And now I'm going to look through and see what I can cancel. That. 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 And yay, I'm left with that. And I'm done. Okay, let's look at one more example and we'll be good. So this will be example number three. Last one, example number three. We've got x squared plus x minus six over x cubed minus two x squared minus 35x and we're going to divide that so let's just invert it and multiply so we don't have to write it all twice. So I'm taking the bottom terms and put them on top and the top one and put it on the bottom just so I don't have to mess with it later. Alright so the key thing here is the whole factoring issue. So let's factor that first. I'll do this in red. Okay, I'm going to have a 3 and a 2. I'm going to have a plus 3 minus 2. And this one here. Let's take this one and put it down here because it's going to take a little bit more effort to factor that. So let's do the factoring kind of out of the way so I don't have to rewrite everything. I've got an x that's common to everything, so I'm going to take that x out. And I'm left with x squared minus 2x minus 35. Now I can break this into two. So I've got an x and an x and a 5 and a 7. And that x continues down. So the uh, factoring of that bottom looks like that. Okay, times. Factor next out of that. And let's see what we can cancel. That with that. That with that. That x with that x. And I'm left with x minus 2 over x plus 5. That right there. And that's it. So that's lesson number 36.